Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe, share, and like. This video is going to be exposing Asante McGee. She claims she was a victim being held captive in R. Kelly's sex cult. Just my personal opinion. I feel like she sought this man out, similar to Geronda Pace. She enjoyed this this lifestyle in which I feel like she was asked to leave because I've come across other documents in which witnesses have confirmed that she was asked to leave his house, which is how she ended up eventually leaving in the first place. But according to her, she masterminded this great escape and then went on this mission to contact other people's families to let them know of the things going on in this man's house. So this video is just to point out the holes in her story. It's to expose her daughter on record saying that her mother is lying, that her mother was able to come back and forth, that her, mon her mother ended up with lots of money dealing with R. Kelly, and that she feels her mother is lying and other videos and clips. So just sit back and wait as this all plays out. Again, I'm not saying R. Kelly is innocent of anything, but I'm telling you, Asante McGee is not a credible witness. And maybe they should have did a little research before they put her in this Surviving Lies, I'm sorry, Surviving R. Kelly docu-series. I'm sorry. From that moment, that's when the controlling began. Um, from the moment I arrived at the house, he gave us the tour, showed me what, where my bedroom was, and every day there was a different rule that he was bringing to me. One of the things that really disturbed me was watching one of the young ladies that's at the house right now um, perform oral sex on him in front of me and other people. Wow. And I knew she was young, and somehow she ended up telling me she was 18 years old. And I knew that was too close to uh, my daughter's age, my oldest child. And I knew then that, oh, no, this is not what I expected. I don't, you know, agree with the things that's going on. Notice she said the girl was 18. Okay. The treatment he's giving me and the other girl. So the second week of me being in his house, I started plotting my getaway. Um, I ended up being in the house a total of three weeks. And when I left, I had to get my mind together and see if this was really what was going on. So I, you know, reached out to someone else to let them know what I witnessed to see if this was something new or if this is, you know, if I'm not just over-exaggerating. So with the, few, you know, help of others, I was able to reach out to both of the family members and let them know, you know, hey, your daughter is in this house and this is what's going on. This is what I witnessed and this is the treatment he's given me and others. All right. Notice she said she went out her way to contact these people's family to let them know what she allegedly seen. Okay. The girls. And so that's pretty much how the movement started. You know, just letting them know everything that was going on. Um, And this is, after that, this is pretty much where we are today. Doing interviews with BuzzFeed, Article, and the Lifetime documentary. Right. So let That is where we are, doing interviews and docu-series and all this other bullshit to slander a person's name rather than do what normal people do, file police reports, go through the criminal justice system. Like, this is all I'm saying to you people when I make these videos is I'm not saying this man is innocent of nothing. Because any woman with common sense can pretty much imagine the things that men with money will do. I have my share of stories just like every woman in the world has their share of stories. But the thing is, you have to be able to decide what you will and will not allow. Now, I say these people are not victims because... 
if you really feel like this is wrong and this and that, you know, with all this money you've come across, you can even use the platform you have to start out foundations to, to you know, end the cycle of ignorance, uh, bring awareness to, you know, low self-esteem, stuff like that. But instead, y'all are trying to get come-ups off playing the victim role. In that process, you make real victims look real bad. All right, so this is her book. And if you would, just take a minute to pause this so you can read it. But you can see, she say, first things first, she's no fucking victim. Uh, Period. Uh, to the internet and claim that she was lying on R. Kelly as well. But as you guys can see here, there are several, several, several arrests in here. Um, one of the women who I'm about to release her audio from tonight, we just had a very long conversation. Her name is LaQuincy Bounds. As you can see here on this information, on this, um, this case information, this is a temporary protective order that was filed against LaQuincy Bounds, um, and her AKA, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, not against Quincy Bounds, from Quincy Browns against Asante McGee. Now, again, Asante McGee is one of the women that is claiming that R. Kelly has abused her and this, that, and the other. Okay? So, in saying that, I have come to let you guys know the character of one of these women. Now, mind you, once again, it's going to be Lifetime um, is going to be airing this on the third. Now, you guys know that I am definitely watching, okay? I have it set to record, and we're definitely going to be on it. But in the meantime, I want you guys to know that this lady, look, this lady, Asante McGee, whose daughter has claimed that she's lying on R. Kelly as well, has a very extensive record where there is five pages of ten, and as you can see, dispossessory, which means that somebody evicted her, family violence, family violence, contempt, contempt of child support, a warrant, family violence, domestic violence, family violence, an account, which means that there was some type of fraud, insurance fraud, uh, all state insurance fraud and some type of contract that was uh, broken. And so all of these things, you know, for Asante McGee, this is one of the accusers of R. Kelly. Now, um, I was trying to not show my personal little box, but I'm going to go ahead. <sighs> That's so annoying. Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and press this button. Because um, I want you guys to hear this. Now, this is Asante McGee. This man standing behind her, I'm about to speak to very shortly. Um, and that's Tim Savage right there, who I speak to. I also speak to him. But listen to this. You know, Tim? Like, just looking at it now, like, how do you feel, like, knowing that? Spoke to this young lady, LaQuincy Bounce, that's listed right here on the paperwork. Okay? I'm about to let you guys hear her audio. It's probably going to be in two or three parts. But I'm about to upload the audio that we just had on the phone and let you guys listen to it. Quincy LaQuincy Bounce is one of the victims of Asante McGee who claims to be a victim of R. Kelly. Okay? And there are more people that are going to come out and speak against her as well. Not just her daughter, but several, several people that are claiming that she is a damn lie. She's lying on R. Kelly and that she herself is just not a good person. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know what you guys are going to be hearing over the next couple of days and who this person is. Asante McGee is the name of the R. Kelly accuser and the name of the person in which her daughter said she's lying. Um, and, uh, you might hear. 
Okay, yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing was, you know what I'm saying, when I started doing my investigation, you know what I'm saying, that's when it started leading to a lot of fights, uh, a lot of different things like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it starts. It first started off, you know what I'm saying, basically they, that I started texting on the phone, you know what I'm saying, about when you're going to come back to the hotel room, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, who is that? You know what I'm saying? And we get in this big old argue, oh, that's hard category, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm his personal assistant, you know? Okay. That's the lie I was told, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm his personal assistant. So I'm like, okay, you're his personal assistant? Really? You know what I'm saying? So it was a little problem because I did hear the phone calls. You know what I'm saying? I would get hustling. You know what I'm saying? It's my house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here hustling. You think? It doesn't matter that we get divorced. You know what I'm saying? It's still my house. Okay. So I'm here hustling. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here in a book here, you know, the rooms and everything for, for his boys and his camp, you know, other singers, other people. You think? Hell, I think one time I actually heard her a uh, book, a room for his mother, if I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Who is his mom? Sure. His mom has been there for a long time, I think. She was doing these personal assistant things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, she was doing these things. But, you know what I'm saying, this girl's a liar, you know what I'm saying? She's a natural born liar today. She don't she, she done use countless money that I basically I work hard for, you know what I'm saying? To basically get VIP spots, to get uh, boosts, to get anything they close to wherever he was playing, wherever he was doing, whatever he was. I mean, she went to a concert out of town, you know what I'm saying? Literally out of town for this man, you think? Well, I had to stay alone at home with the kids, you think? Okay. And she, she basically, you know what I'm saying, infiltrated into his cap, you know? And when she got in there, I guess he figured, hey, you know, I might as well use you, you know what I'm saying? You always here, you always, you know what I'm saying? You might well, you know what I'm saying, be part of the camp. So okay. I guess he decided he want to use it as a personal assistant. Okay, you know so from your from your um, recollection, how is it that she infiltrated? How do you think that she was able to infiltrate? Because um, when we talked off camera, you said that you used to send her money and just elaborate on some of those types of things, how you feel she infiltrated into the camp. Okay, it's like this, you know what I'm saying? Nine months, you know what I'm saying? I had this job out of town when I was working in Mobile, Alabama. The, um, yeah, I think it was Mobile, Alabama. I was working on the army base, you know what I'm saying? I was working out there for nine months, you know? So I was making like $1,200, you know what I'm saying? Just enough, you know what I'm saying, to get by and everything, you know? So you're making $1,200 a week, you know what I'm saying? So I would literally sit there a thousand dollars every week, you know what I'm saying? Hey, take care of the bills, you know, take care of the house, no, take care of, you know, the car, no, take care of the bills and everything, you know? And I would literally just sit there, you know, keep the 200 they you know, and, and, and live off that 200 plus my, you know what I'm saying, my per money for, like, you know, for eating, you know what I'm saying, hotel money, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, Cause, you know, you get per diem, you go out of town work, okay. you know what I'm saying? Well, basically, then she was taking the money, you know, and going to these spots, you know what I'm saying, and booking these uh, spots and everything just to, you know, get closer to this man, you know what I'm saying? My so money the, that I'm actually sending her, you so know? So the money that and, you, so, okay, so the money that you were sending her to take care of the kids, and take care of the home. She was taking the money, and she was um, going to was it R. Kelly concerts or, or what exactly was it? Everything, no matter what it was, you know, this girl was fascinated with R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? She been fascinated with R. Kelly for the longest. You know what I'm saying? She was one. She was one of those people. You know what I'm saying? That basically, they you know, if you had a uh, person that you were team with, you know what I'm saying? Who you want to team with? Then she would be like, oh, R. Kelly, of course. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, okay, you know, well, okay, R. Kelly, cool. You know what I'm saying? No, I know, I know that would never come true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know, you know what I'm saying? It happened. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, like, so well, basically. She infiltrated into this man camp. I mean, she got VIP spots close to him, you know? You know what I'm saying? Let's say, you know what I'm saying? One VIP spot, 600, you know? Another VIP spot, 800, you know what I'm saying? That's close to him. She would literally pay that 800 just to be close to him. She would wait to him. She would talk to him. She would do whatever she can do. Go to his concert. Whatever she can do, she would stalk this man, you know, literally until he just signed her on into his camp. And then she's a parasite. She should basically uh, attach herself onto his camp. Uh, onto the, uh, his boys, his friends, and everybody he knew. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much sure they got a lot of people that know this girl. They got a lot of people in his camp that know this girl. Trust me. They got okay. a lot of people. They just so, right now. Okay, so from your, your recollection, she used your money that you sent her. She infiltrated in the camp. She then got a, a position as his assistant. Once she got a position as the assistant, where were your children and where were you at that point? See, so now at that part, you know what I'm saying, I'm still working, you know what I'm saying? But we, we still on this, you know what I'm saying, divorce thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to give it up, you know, I need, I want my house, you know what I'm saying? What you want, what you want with this and that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still living there. She's going out of town doing different things, trying to, you know, go to this concert, different things like that and all that. 
I'm watching the kids. Now, whenever I'm not home, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I was at home and everything, you know what I'm saying? She was actually supposed to be home. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Little I know, you know what I'm saying? She had the older daughter watching her. You know? Okay, so the and older daughter, the older daughter that was watching him, that she's not your daughter. That's a daughter no, by somebody. Daughter. Okay. No, so not. when she said that she was watching the kids. So I'm going to pause it right there and just a brief. That is Nick at Night. You can go and watch that, that full interview on her channel. I don't want this video to just be too long. But in the previous video was Toxic Diamond. So you can watch those full videos on their channels. And at some point, I'll go back and attach the links. But I'm doing this all on my phone, so bear with me. So let's move along. Now what you're about to hear is audio from Asante McGee's daughter and her ex-husband.
You think so? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Damn, that shit crazy. Like, and then you as a child, that's what I'm saying. Like, you as a child looking at this shit and you knowing the like exactly how it was, and you hear like, how do you like? What do you feel like? What, like, how do you feel about these? Like, people are able to do that shit. subjected her to mental and sexual abuse while she lived with him for three weeks. She told us she turned off her television. 
There was nothing that I felt sorry about him for because I know the type of monster he is and I know he would cry at the drop of a dime. He's a great performer. Of course, I expected him to call us liars. Another former girlfriend of Kelly's, Kitty J. The next thing I want to show is footage of Asante McGee on stage at one of R. Kelly's concerts. I believe I saw it was 2012. Uh, for some reason, I can't find this video anywhere now. I believe they deleted it. So I have no other option than to show it through, again, Nick at Night. So we'll go ahead and push play. Maybe this is proof that she was actually, you know, being held and not able to go home. I don't know. Um, so here it is. Let me press play. Okay, so I'm going to mute it. So as you can see, that's Asante. She's dancing. And what it looks like is she is dancing on stage. And the stage that she is dancing on is an R. Kelly stage. So um, I muted the sound, but I'll, I'll let the sound go back in a minute. But you can, you're going to see R. Kelly in just a second. Okay, so the screen pans over. So, So that's R. Kelly singing, and then it's panning around, and you can see that she's on stage with him. And again, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to show it all. This is, you know, so there you go. You see R. Kelly. Okay, and again, I'm going to take the sound out because I don't want to get hit with copyright. But this is around the time when she was supposed to have been um, held against her will. And I'm like, hey, well, maybe this is proof that she probably was being held against her will. And she wasn't able to go home. Like, maybe yeah. she really, you know, couldn't go home. You yeah. know? And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm going to show y'all everything. Like, y'all be thinking that I'm just going to show, like, one side of thing. I'm going to show y'all everything. Since y'all think, you know what I'm saying? One way. <laughs> Let me stop. I, it's too late because I'm being silly right now. But I did think it was kind of interesting to come across this video and this video being around the same time that, you know, she was saying that she, she was in this situation and things like that. And, you know, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Um, that is the, oh, that's the end of that video. So I also As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a comment why. If you just don't like the fact that I'm exposing these so-called victims, you can keep your comment because I'm sorry. I just do not believe some of the things I've been told. So I'm going to do my own investigations to see what I find out. Wrong or indifference, I want to know the whole story and not just the bull crap the media wants to feed. Have a great day.